my gardening friends. So today I'm going to be mulching and pruning and fertilizing just like last time um, with the same recipes and stuff of fertilizer and the same recipe of the like peppermint spray that I use to protect my plants. And if you want to see the plants, here we go. So these are my plants. You should see my, oh my goodness, my um, tomato is getting pretty tall. It's almost to the top of the stake already. Two of them that is, two of them at the top almost. And then I have one like halfway there and then that's the one. I had a, um, what's the thing called? Tomato hornworm eating this tomato. So I don't know if it's gonna grow. It's just it's like snipped off right there. It was just chomping away on my tomato plant. So I don't know how that plant is gonna do, but uh, and then I have some sad little zucchinis and squashes back here that's hot that I'm about to water. So yeah, guys, I'm about to show you all what I'm gonna do today. It's just mulching around, I'll just tell you. But I'm just gonna be mulching. Oh, it's a jungle back here. I hope I don't see a snake. Like, it's a real jungle back here. So I'm gonna be mulching around these um, zucchinis and I'm also gonna cage them. Uh, all of these right here, the zucchinis and the squash. I didn't even know this one, the spaghetti squash. I didn't know it grew like these tendrils. Uh, and as you see, it's gotten a hold of my tomato plant right there. So I have to push this one back. I didn't know it was going to do that. I thought it was going to grow like zucchini, but uh, it did not. And then I have eggplant and this was okra. Y'all going to pull this up because I so inside the house, I started some baby seedlings uh, with the paper towel method. I didn't know it was going to work, so I didn't show you all. But I'm so far, but they it works amazing. So basically all you do is get paper towel and you wet it and you put the seeds you want in it and you um, wrap it up and you put it in a Ziploc bag and they're going to sprout and then you put it inside of your little small, like, little small cups that you put like the transplants in and then they're going to sprout in the next day. I mean mine sprouted the next day all of my, I might show y'all when I get inside but it was crazy. I was so surprised. I didn't think that was going to work but um, I'll show y'all uh, next time I do it with some more plants but so far everything looks pretty good i do have to prune this tomato and i showed y'all that last time this one still is sick so i'm gonna have to prune probably all the way up to here you see because it's about the last one maybe even this leaf too because this one is kind of sick i might leave this one i don't know but the poor little baby is dying if y'all see that um and then this one is getting kind of sick i think it's probably from that one but yeah, I have a lot of a lot of work ahead of me today. But I'll show you all the cages that my husband's gonna put in my squashes. So these are the cages. I got these from Walmart. I think there's like a dollar a piece. It was on sale or something um, at the end of spring. And this is ooh, let's see if I can get one out. So this is one cage like that, and it's gonna. The, the top opening is going to be right here and then the bottom is going to go by my zucchini so my leaves can go up instead of out all over the ground like they did um, last time and my husband's going to help me with that so alright guys I'm about to get to fertilizing and I'll show you all the finished product okay guys so I am done with all that I have to do so if you see I pruned most of the and I stake I even put two stakes in this tomato because this branch got really tall I didn't even notice it like you have to pay attention to the um I think that was a sucker but uh, a multi-stem um, tomato plant but it went all the way up if you see and it got pretty tall so I just staked it right next to it and I pruned this one very heavily because that was a sick one and I wanted to show you, I found some more of those creatures, those fiddle, um, oh my god, look at me, fiddly fig tree. <laughs> those, um, let me see if I can get a zoomed in picture. Do you see them? Those, let me see if I can. But those are leaf, limp, um, bugs, leaf footed bugs, babies. So I have to kill them. My husband is gonna spray some seven. Um, if you don't like 
chemicals. And if you wanted to try the uh, neem oil, go ahead. It didn't work for us, so uh, we tried neem oil. We tried a whole bunch of different things religiously, and it didn't work for us, so we decided to use chemicals, and that has worked for us tremendously last time, so we're gonna be doing that again. So just, my husband's gonna spray the seven. This is what he uses. I don't wanna touch it. So yeah, he's gonna spray that on them um, to get the, to kill those things off, and I mean, they're gonna be wiped off by tomorrow. And then, um, besides those pests, I have staked uh, like a uh, caged as people say caged my zucchinis and squashes it was pretty hard because they got pretty tall so don't let y'all get too tall before y'all stick them I'm using a 42 garden thick uh, so I staked all of those and then I broke a couple <laughs> if you see I broke a couple of them unfortunately and yeah and I also mulched them so I put mulch down for all of the zucchinis and squashes to the back and I'm done and here's some of my basil I transplanted I broke it up into two and I have some basil and some orange thyme which looks like it is dying so I need to probably bring him inside because it's hot and I have some mint right here who's doing pretty good as well but all right guys and so my kids got the soccer ball well my daughter has the soccer ball my son's at school my daughter has a soccer ball in the garden bed oh my goodness and this bed is a mess so that's why I have the transplant I have the transplants in the house that I did by seed with the paper towel method and I'm gonna put those when they get big enough um, into the garden bed because I don't know what any of that is I do see a few um, cauliflower and broccoli but shush look at her she said me shush just not nice as all. <laughs> but yeah, like I have a few of those left um, in the house and it probably be ready in like a month or two. But I'm just gonna let this do whatever it does until uh, my transplants are ready. Cause I do think some of these are cauliflowers and broccoli. And I think right after I planted the seeds y'all, it had a really heavy rain. And I think that kind of scattered some of my seeds because you know those seeds are very, very tiny. So I think it scattered some of my seeds all over the place. And yeah, so this is the end result. <laughs> I did not plant all that. So I know some of it is weeds. Like you can see this is weeds. You know, I know what some of the weeds are, but I'm just gonna let it grow. And I do have one little sugar pea pie growing right there. That oh my god, these bees are trying to attack me. Oh! Oh God. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, I gotta go. The bees are trying to thank me. Bye, just say I'm sweating bullets. Bye.